space lovers, welcome back to Blast Off, the Nat Geo Kids and Lego City show for fans of microgravity. Three, two, one. I'm Jedida Eisler, an astrophysicist. Last time we learned what it feels like when you're inside a rocket during a launch. Now let's look at the awesome, fascinating, and weird stuff that astronauts do every day when they're in space. Wait, where's Jimmy? Jimmy Rick Strong reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Jimmy. We were starting to miss you. Sorry, I was just getting ready for the day ahead, you know. Perfect. That's exactly what we're going to talk about now. Our simple daily routines, but in space. What, like brushing my teeth? That's space stuff? Yeah, that's a routine. And eating breakfast? Yep, that, that too. What else? Right, well, like... What? Come again. I, I didn't hear you. I said pooping. Oh, yes. Well, that's definitely an important routine, too. And it's especially complicated in space. It's Bob's training alert. Let's go see what he's up to this time. Bob, what are you doing up there? OK, I figured it out. He's showing us what it's like to be in microgravity. You see, here on Earth, gravity pulls you down. But in space, while gravity still exists, you feel less of the effect as you travel further away. So if you were to drop a Lego brick in space, instead of it falling, it would just float right there. Of course, we all know that on Earth, that what goes up must come down. Let's investigate a little further. This is the microgravity simulator, and this is the Lunar Gateway. It'll be your first stop on the way to Mars. A space station like this is made of small rooms connected by narrow tunnels, each with its own purpose. Solid motors reaching their peak chamber pressure. Controls look good. Life in space must also be planned around microgravity. Everything and everyone floats. Ooh, wow, that's so cool. I gotta try this. It is really cool, and it can be a lot of fun, but it's also very challenging. Why has there always got to be a challenge? The crew can only have normal food items as treats, but their standard meals come in little pouches, so no need for plates. Perfect. I hate washing up anyway. Water also acts differently in microgravity. And then there's the toilet. Remember how I said everything in space floats? Well, that means everything. You're telling me in space? There's floating poops. Uncool, Jimmy. Thankfully, space toilets have fans that suck your number ones and number twos right down into a plastic bag where it's safely disposed of. Whew. I was starting to think space wasn't for me. And when it's time for bed, you climb into tiny pods like this one. Without the effects of gravity pulling you down, it doesn't matter which way you sleep. Because in space, there's no such thing as upside down. It feels exactly the same whichever way you face. OK. So there's no such thing as up or down? Well, how about left or right? Wait, which way am I now? And if there's no such thing as down, then how do we get back down? <sighs> Jimmy, just calm down. You can still move in any direction you want. It's just that in space, you don't have the same feeling of being pulled down. Does that make more sense? OK, I think I got it. So now do we leave for Mars? Not quite yet. We've gotten a good idea of how the day-to-day -day life will be out there, but the last part of your training is the most important, because next we're going to learn how you will finally complete your mission to Mars. This is too cool! I can't wait to get a selfie on Mars! They better have Wi-Fi up there. Well done, space lovers. Just one more video and you'll be set for your own Mars mission as fully qualified astronauts. Until next time, add Astra. <laughs>